<laughs> All right, so uh, what are we gonna cover today? So we're gonna talk about that dreaded 30 to 60 yard pitch shot. Say we have a bunker or a rock, or have to go uphill yeah. and we land on the green see softball. Around here, a lot of very times. common around here. Yeah, we often have that uh, you know long par fours, par fives where we don't quite hit two good shots, but they're almost there, and it's mm -hmm. in that half range area. But you know we've covered a lot about the full swing and having a lot of the extension and the turn and everything, but. What a lot of people get caught up in is that they don't know if they should hit a long chip shot, um, they should hit like a bump and run from 50 yards, should they putt it, or is it a full shot? Do I take my 60 yard, do I make this big swing? And we're here to tell you that it's actually its own category, it's yep. its own shot. You mm -hmm. need to know what you're doing for the half shots to be able to perform it every time and not just guess yeah, and hope that we're going to you know, have some success and get on exactly. the green. Exactly. Hit and hope. Yeah, hitting and hoping or trying to help it. We yeah. use that term so much, trying to get it up or help it near the green. And then oftentimes that just lends us a, another <laughs> 20 or 30 yard shot yeah, coming exactly. in, maybe from the Absolutely. other side. So who knows? But Joe, take your stance here and let's have a chat about what we're going to get away from. What don't we want to see in that setup? What are you trying to do differently in this setup versus maybe like a bump and run or a small chip shot around the green. Sure, absolutely. So as we all learn very early on, those small little bump and runs and stuff around yeah. the green, which are great when you're right beside the green. But again, once we get a little further out, it's kind of a gray area. A lot of people aren't sure how to hit that shot. Yeah. So let's go in. So very basically for a bump and run, we usually put our feet very close together. We play it off our back toe. We put our weight forward and the shaft is leaning forward and we're just taking a little kind of just almost rocking the shoulders and just clipping that ground yeah and like you said there do that again there jump in as we often see these hands get really forward yeah. on those bump and runs yeah. that doesn't get away on the 50 or 60 yard shots like exactly. the half shots yep. let's get in and let's talk about the 50 or 60 yarder now sure absolutely so there's a couple slight changes so again so if i was going to set up for a little bump and run it's this position here, hands are forward. What we're gonna do is it's gonna be a bit more in the middle of our stance. I'm gonna have this shaft so that it's almost straight up and down, maybe even a little back. Yeah, I actually really like to see it like straight up and down, yep. where we might feel like the hands might be slightly forward a little bit mm -hmm. with a different shot. But for these ones, we wanna see the club just kind of like sit on the ground. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. We wanna utilize what's called the bounce of the club, which was this area here. Yeah, the sole, really letting it just like slide through it. Exactly. Yeah, and give a couple demonstrations there, you know, of something that might happen when the shaft is too forward or the leading edge is too down, sure. is you really get into that turf a lot, right? So exactly, you so if I do this, so if I have the same setup, but I'm not utilizing that sole of the club, I get those hands forward, get into shots like that, yeah, and you can really see you getting chopping down because that is there's a fine blade on the wedges that we hit sure. where you get down into the grass, and that ball's only going to move to there. And now we've got the same shot, exactly. But now we're going for five, not four. <laughs> exactly. So, all yeah. Right. So what we're going to do? So the change is here. So as we come back again, middle of our stance, that shaft pretty much up straight up and down. There's a bug in my ear right now. And as we come up, that toe goes to the sky. So as you can see here. We're not having it shut like that. We're having it so it's, imagine that there's an arrow and it's pointing straight up to the sky. Yeah, your hands are almost rotating a bit yep, on the, the way Yeah, the hands back. are rotating a bit. And then as we come through, we use that sole of the club, that bounce. So we're just kind of gliding on it. We're not digging in. And we're just letting our arms kind of fold naturally so that again, this club face is almost pointing towards you yeah and i really like that because if you see right here that club face is actually pointing back it hasn't like rotated mm -hmm. down and it's also not like way up in the air right exactly you're actually letting like it's a very natural motion it is you're, it's almost, your you're almost letting gravity do the work yeah you're not bit. trying to do as much hard work as you mm -hmm. would out of a bunker or or around like a chip shot or anything yeah, absolutely right, let's get in joe and let's see how it looks so let's get over Joe's got a really nice stance here. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give Joe a little bit of a drill to work on to kind of feel right here. If I put this in the ground here, 
what we want to do is we want to make Joe actually keep his weight forward. We don't want it to be moving away. So get in there again. And if he moves away from it and tries to help the ball up, it's going to look a lot like that. Where there's actually, you know, there's too much weight there in the back <laughs> foot. Of course, you fell over. Yeah. But there's too big of a gap. It's too big of a gap. Yeah. I lean back. The hands scoop like that. It's not a good sign. No, and it's never going to have any good result unless pure athleticism takes over and you finally catch one good one. Exactly. Get in there again. Keep that weight forward against that left side and just naturally let that happen where the face comes open and he just slides it through. Let's see. you got about 30, 35 yards ahead of you here, Joe. Let's see what you can do. All right. Let's try it. So, again, we'll set up. Ball almost in the middle of our stance. That weight forward. We'll do a couple of rehearsals. Yep. Where that toes up to the sky and again we follow through it's pointing almost back towards you so let's go ahead and see what i can do lovely look at that mm -hmm. nice and high landed soft yep really good absolutely awesome give this one a try guys yeah and we'll see you next week